I think because boards have become conservative and they want people who are experienced CEOs um, and that narrows the pool. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I think that's a big reason. And I think, you know, there is no reason. Like I had been a COO when I was at Ramsey, I was chief operating officer and I'd been responsible for strategy, the operations, done a whole, but I was considered not, I didn't have CEO experience. And so, you know, it was only again, the chairman who sort of said, well, look at the, you know, she's run a $5 billion business, you know, like, um, why do you, but, but often what's put forward is someone who has CEO experience and that narrows the pool, um, of women considerably. So I think until boards actually, um, think differently about the pool of people and aren't worried about their own brand and their own, you know, how they defend their appointments and actually appoint people who have the potential to do something really good. Um, we won't see female CEOs. 